Hello and welcome to Yedna Investment Academy. Today in this video, we are going to give you a step-by-step -step guide to file income tax return through ITR 1 form for assessment year 2017-18 or financial year 2016-17. Remember, ITR 1 form is also called as Sahaj form. This form is for individuals earning income from salary, one house and one other income such as income from interest and should have total income less than rupees 50 lakhs. Individuals having income above 50 lakhs cannot use this form. Also individuals who have earned income through following means are also not eligible to file income tax return through ITR1 form. To e-file your income tax return online, go to website income tax india e First step is login. You must have a username which is your PAN number and a password for e-filing. If this is the first time you are filing your return, you need to register first and hence click here and register yourself with your PAN card info. Once you have registered, click on login here and you will see this screen. PAN number is your username, enter password and CAPTCHA code and you can now login. After login, you will see this screen. Now as step 2, first thing which you need to do is check amount of TDS deducted by your employer and other forms. For that you need to access your form 26 AS. Go to my account and click on view form 26 AS and you will see this screen just click confirm which will take you to the traces website. Click here to view your form 26 AS. Then you will be able to see your form 26 AS which looks like this. Here you will find the TDS deducted by your employer. It should match with your form 16. If not, you need to contact your company immediately. You will also see details of TDS deducted by bank from FDs etc. Now just note your total TDS figure and go to your login homepage again. Now as step 3, click on e-file and click prepare and submit online ITR. Select form name as ITR1 and assessment year as 2017-18. Note that for filling return of FY 2016-17, you need to select AY as 2017-18. This is where many get confused. Choose the appropriate option for the address prefill. If you are not sure, click on the new address. If you have digital sign option, then select yes. If you do not know about it, do not bother, select no and press submit website will take you to this page. First click on general information. With the quick e-file option you are doing now, most of the personal information and tax details would have got filled automatically based on the info you have provided during registration or previous returns. Note that you can only fill white cells and not gray cells. Keep saving your work often. Most of the things on this tab are straightforward. All red star marked are to be compulsorily filled. If you are a private sector employee, select others here. If you are filling the return before 31st July 2017, then select 11 or select 12 if you are filling after that. If you are from Goa, Dadra and Nagar Haveli or Daman and Diu and are covered under this Portuguese civil law, then select yes. Otherwise, no. Save draft and as step 4, move to the tax details tab. Your TDS information as in form 16 provided by your employer and TDS information if any tax deducted by the bank where you hold FDs should be here already. All this information should match form 26 AS which we checked before. If not, sometime information update takes time so please add the details manually from here. Now moving to most important step 5, go to income details tab, fill income under salary as per the form 16.3. Point 0.3 Point three of form 16 has the gross salary after deductions of tax free allowances such as HRA, LTA, medical etc. If you don't get a form 16, then you need to calculate your own income tax as per our video on this topic and then put the salary after deducting allowances in B1 field. This is a very important point. Hope you have noted it. 
select house property if you have note that if it is a self occupied you cannot claim hra if it is let out declare the rent income in the b2 if you haven't mentioned about this house income to your company it may not be part of your form 16 so you will need to calculate this income by deducting municipal taxes section 24 deductions and home loan interest deduction details about the calculations is there in our income from house property video enter the income from other sources this should include accrued income under savings bank account fd and rds across all banks accrued means not necessarily credited in case of fds and rds remember you don't need to include your capital gain income here if you have that income you have chosen the wrong form you need to choose form itr2 then start filling section 80 under b4 you can claim exemptions up to rupees 1 lakh 50 thousand under section 80c rupees 50 thousand under section 80 ccd 1b 30,000 under section 80D and all others. These are discussed in detail in our tax saving videos. Step 6. If you have made any donations that are qualified for income tax exemptions, go to last tab 80G and enter the details. You can do this only if you have received a certificate with the details of the organization you have donated to called a donee. Please make sure to check with the organization if you are entitled for 50% or 100% deductions on your donation. As step 7, come back to income details tab. All gray fields should be already filled by the system. Rebate under section 87A is for individuals who have income after deductions less than 5 lakh rupees. You can get maximum up to rupees 5000 deduction under this section for 2016-17 financial year. Rules have changed for 2017-18 financial year which we will discuss next year. System will automatically calculate this. Fields you can change are these white fields. System will auto calculate them as well. Relief under section 89-1. According to this section, if you get salary in arrears or advance in a financial year due to which your total income for the year increases, which in turn increases your taxable income, you can claim for relief under section 89. You will have to fill up form 10E with the details and then submit it to your current employer. No copy of form 10E is required to be attached with your tax return. Regarding section 234A, 234B and 234C, you should note that discipline in income tax filing is very important, failing which you will need to be liable for additional penalties on the amount due. Typically penalty of 1% per month till the date of processing under 234A is charged if the return is filed beyond due date. Penalty under 234B is charged for shortfall in payment of advance tax and penalty under 234c is charged for deferment of advance tax so if you file your income tax return on time and pay your advance tax on time you will not be liable for any such penalties under these sections please remember advance tax penalty are not valid for salaried employees as their employer deducts their tds every month and deposit it on their behalf so this will show your total tax liability for the selected financial year. As step 8, now go to tax paid and verification tab and if D12 has some value, you need to pay self assessment tax that is also called SAT which is equivalent to value in D12. Do this by clicking on ePay tax on the home page of income tax e-filing web website. To understand whole process of paying SAT, you should watch how to pay income tax online video on this. After paying SAT, go to tax details and check if schedule IT is automatically filled. If not, put the info manually from the tax chalan generated after you have paid the tax. Now again go to tax paid and verification tab and now D12 value should be zero. Please remember if D13 is positive, it means you have paid higher TDS or advance tax than required and you will get tax refund from the government. 
refund money will come in this bank account make sure all other bank details are also mentioned here it is compulsory to give all bank details to income tax department report any small exempted income which is less than or equal to rupees 5000 or any income due to long term capital gains in equity mutual funds or shares under section 1038 though these incomes are exempt from tax but you need to mention it here also under section 1034 you need to mention any dividend income you have got from shares or mutual funds here again these are all exempt incomes but income tax department needs to know check once again all the tabs and then press submit that is all we have on this topic if you have any question please do write in the comment section below and do not forget to subscribe to our channel for more such videos have a great time ahead